Hi everybody. So, um, I'm doing this in hopes that my nifty little idea, um, will help other dog parents out there. Every time you go to renew your dog license, you get these cheap little dog tags and they never stay on for my Rottweiler. Rottweilers. Um, this is my second dog. Um, they just, when they scratch, it, it tears that little key tag holder. So I've come up with this nifty little idea that I take your regular zip tie here. And what I do is I thread it through the back. Um, so I will show you real quickly. So the front part of your dog's tag is going to be facing you. You are simply going to with, there is a smooth side and then there is a riveted side. With the smooth side facing you, you are going to thread through the bottom, pull it all the way through to where the head of the zip tie is all the way down. You're gonna hold that in place. Make sure that the smooth end touches the smooth end of the back of your dog tag. And then you are going to, through the other eyelet, slip it back through and make sure that it's flush against the back of your dog tag. Now, for my Rottweiler, we use a big studded collar, but this should work for all collars. So right here where you clip for your leash, there is a hole. And what I do for mine is I will slide that through, or I'm sorry, shoot. Um, here I am, not paying attention. So, um, yeah. It's coming undone, so I've gotta redo it. So it's nice and good and tight. So when I put it on my dog's tag, my dog's tag on her collar, through this hole, I'm just going to um, put this through. And you want to make sure that when you put it through, that when you flip it before you even tie it, that when it goes around your dog's neck like so, that your numbers are facing outward and the smooth part is against the back. It doesn't matter which way it goes as long as somebody can see it. Um, and then what I do is I pull this all the way through and I will, and you'll hear the clip clip. So you know you've put it in right. If you go to start pulling on your zip tie and you hear and you don't feel anything, you've got it on wrong. Um, for those who are visually impaired, um, you can listen and feel. So um, again, I will all the way and I will keep pulling on this to make sure that it's good tight and flush on the outside of the collar for my dog. So as you can see, this is nice and flush. Um, there's no sounds anymore, not the, the jingling of the dog tag, the rabies tag, and the dog's license tag jangling. So um, that's the nice thing about that. Um, you don't have to worry about it, and I apologize. I am uh, doing this in a small space. I've been doing multiple projects at once, and my bed is like covered and stuff. Um, so anyway, so make sure that's good and tight, and then you cut off all the way to this part right here with scissors or special um, cutters. So you might have a multi-tool. And if you look on the inside here, there are these little, um, you, they're used to cut wires and, and smaller things on like um, needle noses. This is a multi-tool that I carry around with me everywhere. And you can use those to actually, so it's flush. And when I squeeze it, this is not easy doing when I'm holding and trying to do it. So it will cut all the way at the top. And then what I usually do, since my hand strength is not that great, I will pinch it and then try to make sure that I've gotten 
this all the way through as tight as it can go. Um, and then I will take regular scissors or I will take this and I will cut again because that plastic is sharp and can cut you or your dog or a kid or whatever accidentally. Um, and then I take a little um, lighter and I uh, burn the ends of it just a little bit so that it's nice and smooth because plastic um, melts. So let me get my lighter here. And I apologize that I'm doing this. I wasn't prepared. It just popped in my head and I wanted to do it while I was doing it. So I just take a lighter and I'm kind of just gently. And then as you can see, it's now rounded it and it's nice and smooth and I'm not going to get cut and my dog's not going to get cut on it. And then as you can see, it's nice and flush against the dog's collar and I won't lose it. My dog always wears her collar. My dog is microchipped in case somebody was to ever take the collar off of her, but she wears her collar all the time. Um, so if she was to ever get loose, um, your county, most counties have a website. You punch in the number and it will give the owners information as long as it's current um, phone number address things like that it is owner's responsibility to contact the auditors for their county um, and update the information some counties you may be able to do it online when you register to um, get your new dog tags but thanks hope this helps other dog owners